All right, now I think I'm not muted. Are we ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Yay, some technical difficulties, but we are together. And today we are traveling to Costa Rica. All right, so Costa Rica is a place in South America, I mean, um, Central America. So it connects between North America and uh, South America. And it's that little strip of land kind of north of Panama and South of Nicaragua. And I had a yogi friend that, oh, you know, very good, Caroline. Thanks for sharing that you are familiar. So it's north of um, South America, south of North America, right there in that little strip of land that kind of holds everything together. And so that kind of gives you the world map and the kind of the view, how that is kind of like that bridge or that connecting piece. And it's a very warm, tropical kind of um, mountainous uh country and it's about the size of um, West Virginia I read in um, this book that I checked out from the library that gives you lots of information now this book was published a long time ago this book was published and um, let me double check uh, 2006 so this is um, this is going to be about a 15 year old book so some of the information in it may or may not be quite accurate but it is still going to give us the flavor and a lot of ideas about this particular place in the world and I had a yogi friend that traveled to Costa Rica and got to see uh, that place in the world and was really excited and wondered if we could do some yoga about that part of the world. So I thought we would give it a try today. All right, so what we're gonna do first is gonna take some sun breaths because this is a sunny um, place. Got my sunshines on today. So um, sit up nice and tall or stand up if you like and breathe your sunshine, make a big old sunshine with your hands. And then exhale. We also call this kind of breath umbrella breath sometimes. And sometimes we call it making angel wings, right? We're just varying it today and being flexible with our thinking so that we can be flexible with our, our bodies as well. Breathing in, breathing out. There you go. And breath in and breath out thank you thank you we're going to be one of those mountains in costa rica and when i was reading and studying about it it made me think a lot about studying about uh, hawaii very similar to that place in the world and um there are mountains here's some of the housing but you can see the mountains in the background of um, Costa Rica. So let's be a mountain with our bodies. And we know to be a mountain, we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna roll our shoulders up and back and down. We we'll really connect our feet to the ground and spark through our fingers as we stand nice and tall. And keep that breath rolling in and rolling out. Breathing in and breathe it out. Now, um, we can work the sequence called the sunshine and Miss, Miss Broom's sunshine might not stay on her head, but I know this one will stay on my um, shirt <laughs> as we play. But we're gonna work that to warm ourselves up so that we can move like some of the animals that live in Costa Rica. And so that we can uh, be some of the, um, the activities and the products and the things that happen there today with our bodies and our yoga. All right, so we're going to breathe in and reach hands high overhead and exhale and fold our bodies and reach down to your toes. Now you might wanna bend your knees to get lower. And the idea here is to reach down as low as you can reach and then breathe in and come back halfway. So maybe pressing on your shins or on your thigh muscles as you stretch your crown of your head or Miss Brown's sunshine is headed that direction. And then exhale and fold back down. And then we'll walk back and find our plank, all right? Our plank move from the forward fold is the one where you're at the top of the push-up. Our knees, um, our uh, toes are, uh, heels are over our toes rather, and our bum is in line with our back and legs. So we're like a diving board. We're long and our, we're strong, all right? And then we're gonna put our knees down Stretch our hips back, plant forearms and hands as we scooch the upper body back. I mean, the upper body forward, the toes go back, All right? This is our Sphinx pose. It's our first heart opening pose. And it is going to be one where we get a little bend in our back. And then we'll move from here to table to down dog. 
swish your doggy tail from side to side and then walk your paws together. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, reach for the ground. And then inhale, arms up high to the sky and thumbs to your heart and hands down by your side. Okay. All right. So that sequence is called moving like the sunshine. All right. And it warms up the body. It's a great sequence to know. And this time as we do it, we're going to find two animals that we can find living in uh, Costa Rica. Like it's their home. It's where they naturally, not just like we can go to a zoo and see animals. Um, it would be like saying there's squirrels or there's um, uh, um, animals that are popular here, raccoons or possums, um, they live here naturally. We're gonna meet some animals that live naturally in Costa Rica. All right, so here we go. Feet really firm, find the mountain, you're really strong. Breathe in, reach arms high. Exhale, fold your body. Inhale, come up about halfway. Exhale, fold the body. Walk back and find your plank. You are strong, right? And say it, I am strong. So this is just like mountain. Except we have a different way we're holding our body, but we're strong like we were in the mountain. Knees down, hips back, plant the forearms, roll through. And now we're gonna find the snake, all right? The snake lives in uh, Costa Rica, lots of different kinds of snakes. And then knees into the floor, hips go high, find your down dog. <sighs> Walk your feet together. Inhale, come up halfway. And this is going to be our monkey. You can even swing your arms back and forth if you'd like to. Uh, monkeys live naturally. In fact, my friend that visited Costa Rica, that was her favorite memory was the howler monkeys that she saw. All right, reach back down and then inhale, arms up high to the sky. Reach your thumbs to your heart and your hands down by your side. Okay, awesome sauce. We're gonna do it one more time. This time we're gonna do a poem with it and our bodies will be nice and warm to move like some of the animals in the, um, uh, to move like some of the uh, other, th other things we can learn about this place in the world. All right, inhale, reach arms high and exhale, fold your body. The sun, the sun, I say thank you for the sun and I open my heart to everyone. The sun rises, the sun sets, the whole world, in my heart rest. Ah, go ahead and take a little hip side to side as you rest here. Again, I rise, find your snake, happy to live, happy to be and happy to give. The sun, the sun, I say thank you for the sun. And I open my heart to everyone. All right, and we bring our thumbs, uh, palms together, thumbs to the heart and back to that mountain position. All right, so there's lots of national parks in Costa Rica. Uh, when this book was written, there were 23 national parks, um, lots of trees, lots of forests. So let's be a uh, tree in the rainforest of Costa Rica. So grow roots into the floor with one foot and then take your opposite foot and find where you'd like to plant it today. You know that you can keep this foot low, like with a heel on top of that foot. Um, or you can uh, kickstand it out to the side, or you could come up to the calf muscle with it, or you can come up to the thigh muscle. All right, you can work any of those ways to work your tree. All of those ways are good. And depending on the day and how much water you drank and how much sleep you got last night, balance is kind of a, a, a relative thing. So you find where you'd like to work it today. And just because you work it one way on one side doesn't mean you have to do it that very same way on the others. Branches can be high or low. Welcome to Wobble. That's you getting stronger. Oh, what a very steady tree, Lauren. Wow. No worries if yours is not. All right, and the hands that are high come low and the leg that's up comes down and then you shake on the um, standing leg because it was working very hard. And then you try this on the other side. Now learn a really neat trick um, about where you can take the knee and you can actually push it to the wall. Um, so, I mean, if I, and I'm sorry, I didn't think about this on the other side because you could take the knee here to the wall as you work it and it kind of helps you support it. Um, that's another way to get her done, lots of choices. So find where you'd like to work the tree on this side of your body. And 
when the branches are low or branches are high. And then take your deep breath. All right, in these trees, we have lots of animals that live. And one of my favorite animals to think about because I am such a slow going kind of gal <laughs> is the sloth. So bring the branches that are high, low and the legs that are up, down and shake out the standing legs. And let's check out the sloth. So there's another good book in the library called The Little Book of Sloth. And it's got little great, it's got great pictures. But one of my favorite pictures if you're a fan of the sloth, is uh, this one where he's hugging on the tree. I love it. And they pretty much stay in the tops of the trees and only come down every now and then. And it is not a big old quick thing when they move anywhere, right? They're slow going kind of critters. Um, is, uh, is, um, so we'll speed the sloth in the tree. Let's hug on the tree and we'll do the eagle pose because that always feels like I'm hugging when I do that. So you're gonna grow roots into the floor with a foot. It's another balancing posture like tree was. We're gonna take this other foot and we're either gonna come around and we're gonna kickstand like push toe into the floor. I know you can't see that, but um, that's what I got going on. Let's see if I can move the camera to capture that better. All right, so you can kickstand or if you feel strong enough and balanced enough, you can wrap the foot around. Yogi's choice. The leg that's on top, that's the elbow that comes up. And then the other hand goes side by side, or you can part the elbow into that crease of the elbow and then hands back to back, or maybe you can triple wrap uh, the hands too. So this makes me think of that sloth hugging onto the tree. And it's a great balancing pose. As well, if you lift elbows with your um, stretch, you might feel a, a good stretch in the upper back of your body. Breathing in and breathing out. Welcome to Wobble, that one's a challenge. Good work, Nuri, I see that effort you're putting into your sloth hugging onto the tree. Hang on. All right, unflap your sloth arms and your sloth legs and shake everything out. There you go, Lauren. And let's try it on the other side. All right, so we're gonna grow roots into the floor on this side. Um, Miss Brums, my leg is not as strong on this side, so I won't try to double wrap. I'll just kick stand on this side. But you listen to your body and challenge your body and give it the work that it can do today. All right, we're going to take this top leg. That's going to be the arm that goes on the bottom if we poke the elbow in, right? But it's okay to keep arms side by side. And if you want to wrap again, elbows up, hips down. And we'll be the sloth squeezing on the tree on this side. <sighs> Monkeys, snakes, sloths, and what else? Lots of animals that live in the rainforest in Costa Rica. All right, we'll unfurl and curl, we'll wrap around and let's try, um, let's try, we've done some balancing postures. So let's try some animals where we can work maybe on the ground, okay? And so um, let's do the lizard pose. All right, we've done lizard before. With lizard pose, you can read your wings up and you can reach down to your toes and then you can reach to the floor and find your table. And from table, you can take one leg forward and one leg back, all right? Now this is um, a, a stretch where we're gonna stretch the inside of the leg. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually heel toe, heel toe your foot over to the side that so it's comfortable to put both hands inside that foot. Now this back leg, you can push the toe into the ground and lift your lizard, or you can leave the knee down and even stretch it back a little bit longer if you want to. Now you might feel the stretch already in the inside of this forward leg. All right, but if you would like a little more, what you can do here, guys, is you can go down to the forearms. Oh, that might be a little much for Miss Rome today because my body is maybe not as warm and ready to go. But that's an option. And you can flick your little lizard tongue out. Yeah, and then you can rock your lizard from side to side and forward and back. 
All right, heel toe, heel toe, your foot together, uh, your foot back to center and back to the other uh, knees together. And then we could try the lizard on the other side. All right, again, you can stay here and work your lizard. You can lift your um, back leg. You can heel toe, heel toe the foot out to the side so that your hands are on the inside. You can go down to the forearms. Or another thought that you have to stretch a little bit more is you can rock to the outside of that foot. And that also stretches the inside of the front leg a little more. So again, find what feels right today. Every day is different. We give ourselves a lot of grace. Keep breathing. And then let the foot come up if it's down. Heel toe, heel toe it back to center. All right, bring your knees together and we will try um, the frog pose. All right, so a frog pose is gonna be where you come to your feet. You can rest on your flat foot or up on your tootsie toes. Your knees are bent here, your body's tall, your palms are together. And if you would like to get a little more stretch for the inside of the legs here as you work, you remember you can press the elbows into the thighs, but again, you can also just keep it tall and you can balance it up on your toes or you can flat foot it to be your frog today. All right, so um, we had snakes, monkeys, sloths, birds. Um, we had the lizard, the frog, and now let's do a jaguar, a jaguar. All right, for a jaguar, we're gonna come back to the table. And what we're gonna do for jaguar is we're gonna take one foot and put a footprint in the space behind us, and we're gonna lift one arm up and really strengthen through the back of your body. And so that wel welcome that wobble because that is all the muscles really working to hold you still and in that shape. So knees and hands comes back to your mouth as you breathe in and you stretch the opposite side. And then you can just move that with your breath where you move and work it and come back to center and work it and come back to center and do a couple more jaguars hanging out those big cats with spots reminds me a lot of cheetahs but of course they're they're thicker animals they're more of a squatter squatter you know a, a thicker shorter not as lean and, and maybe not as fast as the cheetah but they can hang out in the forest and eat good food. All right, so, and then that brings us to our bat. All right, so we'll do a bat. And to do a bat today, what you'll do is you'll lie on your bat body. All right, and there goes Miss Brown's son. And what you will do is you will take your hands to the back of your um, hips. And your elbows are going to go where those um, hips are right now. Your legs are going to go up in the air and you're going to be a bat like you're hanging out in a, um, a tree uh, in the rainforest. Okay, so breath in, put your feet up. If you like to just do a hip stand for bat, you're welcome to do that. But if you like to work on the shoulder stand, you're going to take those hands to the back of the body, elbows where the hands, the hips were, and the legs are long into the ceiling. And breathe. The weight is in the shoulders, not your neck. And you could possibly, you know, there should be a little space between your neck and the floor, like a credit card could be slid under there, right? All right, so you come out of your bat. And then we're ready to be a banana. Bananas are grown in Costa Rica and only Ecuador at the time of this publication had more bananas shipped out into the world. So to be a banana with your body, walk your feet over to the right and then walk your um, hands over to the right as you stretch the hip away. All right, this is making a banana with your body. All right, there's a curve and I see somebody is trying to get back in. Let's see if I can let them in while you hold your banana shape. Oops, did I lose them again? Oh, I don't see them. Okay. Yes, Nuri, what's on your mind? Did um, you I did have a question. It was okay. just stuck up there. 
Oh, it's just stuck. Okay. <laughs> I understand that. Okay. So now let's work your banana the opposite direction. All right. So I'm going to um, turn around, even though um, you don't have to turn around, of course, to do it. You're just going to stretch the other way. But so you walk your feet now to the left as you stretch to the left. Then you should get the opposite, the opposite bend. And this is called banana asana. And breathe. All right, there's lots of other things we could have done about Costa Rica, but let's go ahead and do our rest. Um, so if you want to um, uh, put your legs in a chair or if you want to lay flat, if you want to have your hands up or down, you have these choice. Down helps you kind of feel the ground more, up helps you to be more open. Um, so you do what feels right. If you just want to sit comfortably in a chair, we're going to sit and think about, oh, there's that bong again. Let's see if I can let that person in. All right, there we go. All right, so we're ready to rest. So close your eyes and feel where your body does connect to the ground. And think about the animals that we thought about today in this very warm place in the world with mountains and forest. And we're gonna spend just a couple of minutes here resting. And we think about, there's lots of good things to eat here, like the bananas. In Costa Rica, they're also known for sugar cane and pineapples and coffee. There's cows. There's surfers on the ocean. Waves that are along the coast. And like the United States, Costa Rica has two coasts. Uh, we have an east and a west coast, and so does Costa Rica. So just enjoy the sun, the rainforest, the animals, and we'll sit still and quiet, or lay still and quiet for another minute starting now. All right, go ahead and wiggle your fingers, and wiggle your toes, roll your ankles and your wrists, and you rock your head from side to side. Stretch your body if that feels good, or curl yourself up, maybe even give yourself a hug. It feels like what you need this morning. All right, and tell me how you feel. How are you feeling this morning? Good. All right, Caroline, you said Korea. Oh, a thumbs up from Nuri. How, what about Korea, Caroline? Was that another place in the world? Oh, you want to explore yeah. Korea. Is that what you're thinking? Okay, well, we maybe you can do another field trip of another week. Thank you for suggestions. I love that. Nuri, is that the same hand or is it, it just gave me a notification that your hand was up? Are you good? Okay. All right, let's sing our song. You ready? Thumbs together, hands to the heart. Namaste. Namaste.
Wednesday is what we say. Is what we say. Is what we say. Do the good in you. Good in you. Do the good in me. Do the good in me. Good in me. Say namaste. Say namaste. Yeah. Every day. Every day. Every day. And the world. And the world. Will the world. live in, in harmony. harmony. Yay, Yogi friends. Lauren, thank you for having your sister play. That was awesome. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you next week. Maybe we'll we'll head to Korea. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.